Hello, subscribers. I wanted to talk, uh, come here just for a short minute uh, and talk about blockages. I've never talked about blockages with you guys. So I wanted to talk about blockages real quick. For those of you who are, who are on your journey and you seem like you're not making any progress, you're meditating, uh, and you're doing, you think you're doing everything you're supposed to do. Uh, but on this journey, it's uh, uh, crucial that you take a, a good look at your diet all the way out, your whole diet. Uh, you know, the diet of people that you hang around. Are they toxic people? You know, uh, that could create some blockages if you're around toxic people all the time. Are you listening to toxic music? You know, you know toxic music it, when you hear it. If you're calling yourself uh, bees and hoes and all that type of stuff, then uh, yeah, yeah, it's toxic. You know what I'm saying? So you probably want to change your music, uh, change what you're listening to. Um, what else could be causing blockages? Uh, look at your family tree. Look at your family tree, you know, look at you. Are there some behaviors that you need to get rid of? You know, are there some behaviors, negative behaviors that 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 really, you know, uh, stunts your spiritual growth? Anger. Anger can stunt your spiritual growth, you know. Sometimes if you stay depressed, and you know, you know, too long, you know, or go into sadness and then it lingers into depression, it can, it can, it can affect your energy. You know, it can have it can create some blockages there. Uh, were you hurt in your past by a lover? You know, some deep wounds from there. You know, a girlfriend, a boyfriend. I mean, it doesn't matter if that wound is deep. That emotional wound is so deep. There could create some blockages there. Uh, are you still trying to get out of a, a belief system? You know, are you trying to get out of Christianity or any other, you know, belief system that you're into? Seven Day Adventist, you know, whatever, whatever. Or you turn down those beliefs and, 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 and you just got into metaphysics. And, and But somehow those old beliefs keep haunting you. Uh, you know, it's going to take some affirmation. It's, it took some years of subtle programming to get this stuff into your mind. So it's going to take some years of subtle program to get this out of your mind. Sometimes it's quicker for others. Sometimes it's not. You know, it just all depends upon the per person and how much programming they have had throughout their lives. You know, all of this depends upon the person. Uh, some of us are working through blockages as our consciousness shifts. Maybe you're not aware of that, aware of that uh, blockage right now, because the conscious begins to shift as we begin to come more and more aware of things. Uh, the consciousness shift. Uh, you see that as well. Uh, are you in, in alignment? You know, a lot of people say, "Well, I got my chakras aligned," and and uh, and that's you know, I, I thought I had my chakras aligned. You know, well. You may have, but there's also a term too, and there's also it also should be considered that you also have to be in alignment with the universe. And this, people talk about chakras, but they, they don't go into deep. I'm going to talk about that. If you're interested in knowing more about that, I'm going to be a uh, be doing a video on that soon. You can follow me on Facebook Live. I tend to make more videos there because that's where I do a lot of marketing. Uh, but I'll come here. And I will uh, do a book review on a uh, book I wrote, uh, and I talk about that in the laws of I talk about the laws of the universe, and I'm going to break that down for you. Uh, and that's very important as well. Uh, you know, why is this important? Why am I bringing this up? Because once you are in alignment with the universe, you know, you're in alignment with these certain properties, these certain divinities. Uh, this is like the law of physics within the universe. Once you're in alignment you'll see more intense synchronicity. You'll know that your mind is really it having an effect. The universe is responding to your, your thoughts, your mind. You know, it's mind-boggling at first, and it's a trip when it happens. But, you know, the more we can tap into our mind, you know, the more power and access that we'll have. Uh, one of the issues that we have, too, is we like follow the leader, you know, we love to, to have a leader to tell us things about ourselves, and that's not a part of the journey. The journey is to know these things about yourself. It's to convince yourself of this. You should love yourself enough to tell you 
yourself. I love you. You're beautiful. You're great. You can do this. You're successful. Abundance flows to you. You should love yourself enough to put these things in, in our spirit every day, in every minute of the day. And the more you're doing that, this, you are drawing these, uh, these ions, these atoms, these thought forms to your, this energy to your mind. And it creates a, a stream of consciousness called inspiration or creativity. You know, that's the only way it can be, be described. And that's the only way people are describing it. It's a stream of consciousness called inspiration or creativity. And once you start feeling this in your mind, uh, uh, your mind is, is, is ceased, seized by this consciousness, uh, it gives it leaves you in a great state, a vibrant state. So you want to create an atmosphere, you know, that's going to generate that type of creativity around you all the time. That's when you know you you're you're around this positivity, the light. You're in the light because you're surrounding your life. It's a way of life. You're surrounding your yourself with that. You're insulating yourself in that. Uh, I cannot e emphasize thoughts are things. See, the more we create these positive thought forms that may be items, ions, you know, that's the reason why some of us have salt light, uh, these salt lamps, because we want to create these positive ions that get rid of negative energy. Well, the same applies to thought forms as well. It's no different. See, no one can really measure the mind. There's not really an instrument that can really measure the mind besides these testing. They can do the brain, you know, they can tell you about the organ, but as far as our thinking is concerned and the power that we use in our thinking, no one can really measure that, okay? So our minds are incredible. They, are, they can do some astounding things. And this is where this inspiration and creativity comes from. People are astounded by some pe people's inspiration and creativity because of this higher, you know, it's just a higher uh, quality of energy that comes through. And it shows, you know, it, it shows that it's presence. It can be felt. It can be thought. You know, that, you know, thought is the, is a higher quality of energy. The more smart, the smarter you are, the more likely you're going to be more successful in your life. You know, with your IQ, your thinking, your mind, you know. So, if you're having some blockages, you know, if you're ex ex experiencing some blockages, look at those family dynamics. If there's any displaced anger, see where that anger is coming from. You see, these emotions, if there's the emotions that are out of whack or we're participating in, uh, too long into a negative emotion, it can create, you know, blockages and holes in our aura, in our energy field. And we'll either feel drained, unmotivated, you know, whatever is creating the uh, blockage. Whatever is creating the blockage, you know, you, you need to look at that. You know, it can create, it can create, um... You know, some circumstances in your energy field, you know, and I also talked about that too in my Facebook live uh, and these negative emotions can have an effect on our body. They can set up diabetes, hypertension, cancer, uh, you know, anxiety, um, so many other diseases that these negative thought forms, because first these diseases manifest as a negative thought form, and then it, it, it got into our body because we hold on to the negative thought form for so long. Now and it manifested in our body. For instance, cancer. They had went in to find cancer tumors, and they find, you know, they open it up, and then it's got teeth you know, nails, uh, bones, and sometimes it, it mimics the face of the person. So you tell me what is cancer? You know, what is cancer then? You know, uh, any shamans or healers would tell you that these diseases first manifest on a metaphysical level. So by insulating yourself in these positive vibes and stuff, you are working on, on your mental body, you are working on your physical body, you know what I'm saying? You're working on your spiritual body. So you're doing so many healthy things for yourself when you start insulating yourself in these positive thought forms and start getting rid of these, uh, what you call so-called attachments. So you there's blockages too with attachments. So if you have attachments, uh, that can be blocking, blocking you as well. I ask that you, you know, 
start doing some Reiki on yourself. Start doing some intense Reiki on yourself or go to someone to get some professional Reiki or someone who can remove an attachment if there's an attachment there. So if there's any blockages there, you know, you could have an attachment too. I didn't want to mention, you know, I made that last to mention because um, attachments are, are just, it's such an iffy thing with attachments. And um, you want to you wanna really get some, get some real good advice or seek out real professional help if you have an attachment, you know. Uh, I knew one woman said she removed attachments and she did Reiki. But I think there is, uh, I think possibly a person could remove an attachment themselves with divine help. Uh, I, I think that you could uh, remove an attachment yourself. That's just my opinion. Or seek out professional help, someone who is experienced in moving attachments. I have never removed an attachment, so I'm not, ex exp I'm not experienced in moving attachments. Okay, so those are some of the things that uh, could be creating blockages, you know, so look at your energy field, look at your friends, look at your family, who's creating those emotions, uh, why are you lingering in that sadness or that anger, all these negative emotions too long, uh, that can create blockages and, and, and you know, gaps in our aura, our energy field, uh, what else? You know, I think that's all. But, you know, your first, when you first get into this, I tell everybody, do a lot of healing work on yourself. I'm still doing healing work on myself every day. And I think I've been in here like two, I know, maybe th three or four years, three or four years. And I always do healing work on myself, energy work on myself. I'm always, you know, it's just a constant thing because, in my mind, we're humans. We've been on this planet. Surely we have we have uh, come in contact with some type of trauma that had effect on us some kind of way. So I know I need to be healed some kind of, you know, I need some form of healing. And so I just make it uh, among, you know, it's, a, it's a, a part of my ritual just to do the healing on, on myself, just focus on me. So I do a lot of healing work on myself and uh, you know, and I, I, I see it, I see it every day, you know, I see it every day that where the healing work is, is really taking effect, no matter how, you know, ugly the healing is, it's taking effect in my life. So, uh, yeah, keep doing the healing work on yourself because if you, you know, you're not the only one who has experienced some type of a hurt or pain, you know, if you're holding on to the hurts and pains and in and, and a past relationship or something that caused you, a, you know, it just was a heartache, you know, a heartbreak, a heartache, uh, you know, you're going to have to deal with that and face that. And what are some of the behaviors and, and, and uh, emotions that you took away uh, when that happened? You know, all that uh, has a big play uh, in, in the blockages that we, we may have. You know, so if you're having blockages and you feel like you're not growing spiritually, you're not able to do the things that you're trying to do, uh, look at those blockages and start to work on them. There's all sorts of information out there on that. So uh, start to look at that. Okay. And uh, just, it's, just take your time step by step. You know, like I said, this is a process. It's a process. I'm still on my journey. This is this journey doesn't even it never ends. So, uh, you know, just be thankful for the day that every day, you know, once a day, be thankful, be grateful, you know, and that's what the journey is all about. Uh, I also wanted to mention, too, uh, we're going to have a special presentation on the channel in recognition of Black History Month. Uh, I hope you enjoy our uh, special presentation. So I wanted to announce that. I will be bringing that to you next week. Uh, and for those of you that are interested, like I said, I'm going to be doing a video on the laws of the universe and show how uh, you can align yourself with these divine energies or, you know, these physics, laws of physics to get a better response <clears throat> out of the universe. Excuse me. I'm sorry. But thank you so much for watching. 
uh, in supporting the channel. Uh, light and love. Namaste. May the ancestors be with you.